Spencer Critchley, who joins us from Monterey in California. Welcome to the program, Spencer. Firstly, Washington, we understand, is planning to give Kabul $3.3 billion annually over the next two years to support Afghan forces battling the Taliban. How significant is this commitment? I think it's very significant. I think it's yet one more sign that we have adults back running the U.S. government. The previous administration seemed to see leadership as a marketing exercise. We just had a series of performative gestures and sudden reversals, including the abandonment of key allies, a sudden withdrawal from Afghanistan that was branded as a victory when, in fact, it was a retreat. And I think President Biden, as he has shown so far, is an adult who understands the value of surrounding himself with other adults who are experts in the subject matter. And he recognizes that the withdrawal from Afghanistan is going to be difficult and complicated, and it can't just be done overnight. But we do know that uh, successive uh, administrations in Afghanistan have been riddled with corruption. Are you confident that this new US funding, $3.3 billion, over two years, so that's uh, more than $6 billion in that time, won't be uh, riddled away by corrupt officials? No, I'm not at all confident of that. And Afghanistan, unfortunately, is famously wasteful of foreign aid when there's no end of boondoggles that can be pointed to where U.S. aid and uh, other foreign aid, international aid, has been flagrantly wasted. Uh, that said, it's not all wasted, and there have been important gains in Afghanistan during this long, uh, painful couple of decades. And, uh, you know, I think that wasteful aid is far better than the alternative. It's one of those cases where it's by far the least bad alternative. I think we really have both a uh, strategic obligation as well as a moral obligation to continue to provide uh, key support to Afghanistan. We also know the Biden administration has ordered an end to the 20-year U.S. troop presence in Afghanistan by the 11th of September. Do you think that was the best policy decision to make, given the precarious uh, security situation that Afghanistan is facing right now? On balance, I do. You know, there are, of course, other people with uh, deeper expertise in, in uh, military strategy and diplomatic strategy than mine. But as a reasonably um, informed observer, I think this is about the right solution. And I think uh, in line with what I was just saying about the complexity of this and recognizing that adults need to take informed adult actions, this is not going to go down to a zero military presence. That might not happen for a very long time. Uh, so it's officially going to be a withdrawal of troops, but I think we're going to see obviously continued military aid, which is perhaps the most important role the United States can play. I think we have to avoid being paternalistic about the capabilities of the Afghan military on its own. Uh, and at the same time, I'm sure there's going to be some kind of uh, on the ground military assistance, at least from a training and support point of view. Okay, Spencer Critchley, we will have to leave it there. But thank you so much again for joining us on TRT World. My pleasure.